All right, we are at our grammar video where we will be talking about syllables. Remember, syllables are the way that we go about breaking words up into sounds. So, uh, wait, 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 wait. Page with me, please. One, two, three, and four. Good. We have come to a page that says multisyllabic words, open syllable sort. Don't worry about all of those words. Just listen to what I'm saying. Cut out the multisyllabic, so the word. Cut out, th what this means is cut out th these words that have more than one syllable. Okay, so they have more than one sound. That's what they're telling me. Open syllable means it ends the first syllable ends in a vowel. Is it called a vowel? Yes. A, A, E, O, O, A. That is what an open syllable is. An open syllable is that the first syllable ends in a vowel. That's it. Then cut each word in half. Glue the... F now, please don't go cut paper in half like this now. You must go break it up into syllables. That's basically what they mean. Um... Glue the first syllable of each word into the first column and the second syllable into the second column. Write the word in the right each column and then say each word twice. Words that are circled are nonsense words. These are not words that exist, but we can still break them up into syllables. So the first thing you are going to do is cut off this piece. You will see the dotted lines. Go ahead and cut that off. And then we can page over. Good. Sorry, I just want to see the time. Oh, it's not working. Whatever. Okay. So let's start with the first one. They give you a space for your name and the date. You can write your name if you want to. And then please write the date in cursive. Today is 16 September. 2020. Good. So let's take a look at these words. First one, paper. Now they say cut the word in half, but they don't mean literally cut the letter in half or anything. They just mean break the word up into two. Okay? So if we say the word paper, listen to it. Paper. Paper. What is the first sound? Paper. It's pay, but there's no year, so we split up the p a and the p r. Pay, p. Good. Then we are going to go paste those two. See, this is what an open syllable word means. The fact that it ends on an a, an e, an e, a, o, or a, a, that makes it an open syllable word. So, pay. I've got myself doubting now. Let me just quickly see if that is what it means. Hold on. You guys can do research with me. See, I will admit that I don't know everything all the time. But I mean, an open syllable. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But I got myself doubting now. Open syllable. Ah, because the vowel is open and nothing comes after it except the open space. Good. So I am correct. Um, the fact that there's a vowel and nothing behind it makes it an open syllable. Good. Paper. And then you write it. Rewrite the word paper. <clears throat> Good. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's do, let me do these ones with you. The rest you'll have to go do yourself, but I will do these ones with you. So you have to split these words, actually all of them, but I'm just going to do these ones with you. Good. Let's split this word into two. Begin. Begin. All right. So, be. Begin. I'm not going to paste them all. So, begin. Those are my two syllables. 
and now I rewrite the word. You know what? I'm not going to do all of them with you. I'm just going to take the one that is a nonsense word that doesn't exist. The one that says ro rotab. Okay? Even though it's not a real word, say it out loud. Rotab. Rotab. You can clearly hear that after the row at the top, at the front, those two must be split. And that is how that word will be split up into syllables. Remember the ones that are circled, which are dabam, netop, bonep, and tuflop do not exist. <laughs> These are not real words. Robot, relax, music, tiger, defrost, minus, bacon, and siren are real words. Good, so you can go ahead and do this activity exactly like we did here at the top. Enjoy.